Hey vlog, what's up? So this is the second edition of the USA East Coast road trip vlog series that I'm busy on with my dad. Um, previous trip, a uh, previous video, we ended up in, uh, well, we just ended up in Florida and that we're having a great time. Um, and continuing on from there, uh, in our last few days, in our last day in, uh, not Orlando, but Titusville, we went over to Merritt Island, which is the long island that Kennedy Space Center is actually on. And we went to the Merritt Island Nature Reserve and had a nice walk through there, through some of the varied landscapes. There's like some um, kind of Everglades, uh, very like marshy river kind of foresty type uh, areas. And then there's also like more desert scrubland pinelands, uh, which we walked through. And so that was very interesting and it was nice to walk through um, different biomes. We're out on the Merritt Island uh, Wildlife Refuge today doing some hikes. We did a very like bushy uh, walk earlier through the, um, I think it was the oak and pine like trails, <laughs> circular trails. And now we're on like the pine, some pine woods trail. Very different terrain here, just up the road from, well, and kind of on the same piece of uh, NASA land um, that Kennedy Space Center is located on. Oh, very different geography, it's nice to see. There's an armadillo over here. Hey little guy, where are you going? Come on. Oh shame. And then that same day we ended up in uh, New Samina Beach and we had a lovely walk along the beachfront there. Lovely soft white sand and actually really cool to like have a shirtless walk along the beach in the middle of winter. Not the weather I was expecting but grateful for it nevertheless. So then the next day we drove from Titusville uh, from near Orlando down to towards Miami um, and we drove past uh, Jupiter just to see some and uh, friends on the way down there um, and we went to the Everglades National Park on the way down and a beautiful national park really well maintained some lovely gators um, whole lots of fish um, like boardwalks and that over the, the marshes and the Everglades and the water and that beautiful like biodiversity in that and it was awesome to see and just you know experience the different kind of wildlife down there such a peaceful national park definitely worth a visit if you're there although I can imagine the mosquitoes are hell in summer big fish eh? Yeah, look at that. Yes. We are hiking at the Everglades National Park today, going on the Anhinga Trail and the Gumbo Limbo Trail up ahead. Nice Should, chill day. Nice chill day after some hectic driving by Miami yesterday. Come. Would <laughs> would never ever advise driving into Miami on a um, Friday afternoon. That is a big alligator. Hungry looking boy. So many gators around here. The crocs more olive drab. Yeah, I saw that. It's got a white snap. Oh, it's cool. Man. Very tame. It's just a chunk. Is he looking at my, my bag? <laughs> got any snacks in there? Snacks. Where are we, Mitchell? Ha! Using my own interviewing skill <laughs> against me. We're in the Everglades National Park. We're at the Long Pine Key hiking trail at the moment. This is a, a dam of sorts, but I think it's unnaturally made because there's not many fish in it uh, compared to some of the other places we've been. But so cool. The entire park, I think, in summer is like underneath 30 centimeters of water. So many fish and uh, little, little fish and little life. Uh, oh, it's really cool. We just saw a big turtle jump into the water here. Nice national park. I think I just saw something jump mm. out over there. Any mozzies? No, none whatsoever. So come in winter. I think that's the best tip for the Everglades. Else you're going to get eaten alive. Oh, there's a fish. Small one. Some camera reception going here. <laughs> Read my mind. Good morning. We are out on the in the Everglades National Park today. We're walking, I think it's about a 20 kilometer route this morning, actually. It's a bit ridiculous. Long straight route here, all the way down next to the canal. Um, what's the name of this trail? It's the Shark Valley. Shark Valley Tram Trail, so it's pretty straight. This guy's going past on bicycles, but whew, yeah, having a long walk here. I've seen lots of gators this morning and lots of turtles. 
tons of fish as well. I'm really overstocked here. But yeah, as you can see here on the left, like this is kind of Everglades territory. You know, like 30, 50 centimeters of water. You're not gonna walk through there. And there's like fish and crabs and all sorts of things living in this terrain as well. And this just goes on for kilometers and kilometers. So nice to see the national parks taken care of. And there's a plane going on overhead. But yeah, catch you up a bit later on the walk. It's deep in places. So we spent two days down there in the Everglades National Park, enjoying the um, beautiful scenery and that there. And then from there, we actually headed up to uh, Daytona Beach. Um, well, we stopped off at Daytona Beach and saw what there was to see there. Just a small little commercial town, very pretty as well. Nice beach walk over there. What's up vlog? We have made it to Daytona Beach. As if to underscore America's love of their cars, you're not allowed your cars on the beach yet. There's like a literal lane on the beach for your cars. That's peculiar if you ask me. Anyway, stop for an apple at some McDonald's earlier. We're gonna head down to that pier over there and see what there is to see. Those crabs looks quite nice. Just had a beautiful walk out at Daytona Beach. A um, whole lot of seagulls here. Beautiful boardwalk and uh, moment you can see it far behind me. Beautiful boardwalk and pier over there. Just a flat, white, sandy beach. And the waves are so calm. It's not rough like uh, Durban or Cape Town. But yeah, we're heading up to St. Augustine now. We're on the proper road trip part of the trip. We were up at um, Tampa last night. It's getting quite cold actually. You can see I'm wearing a long sleeve t-shirt today. We just kind of passed through there uh, from lower down by Miami and that. But we're heading up to St. Augustine today, starting up the east coast of the states, heading up towards uh, Washington and New York and that, uh, in a couple of small towns in the next few days, Savannah, Charleston, uh, Wilmington, Norfolk. So it should be interesting, nice to be by the seaside, breathe in some sea air, and yeah, see uh, the whole of the states. We have, haven't left Florida yet, and we're leaving Florida soon, so it should be interesting. And then we actually headed up to Tampa, Florida, and we just stayed there on a short overnight stop. Hello vlog, we made it to Tampa, Florida. Um, it's dark outside, we got here relatively late, the weather seems to be um, uh, cooling down a lot. We're heading off up to St. Augustine tomorrow, so maybe we'll see what's in Tampa tomorrow, maybe we won't. Got the dinner situation going on over here, we've been staying in a lot of motels, so you got to make do, eh? So this is a um, chicken out of a can wrap with some mayonnaise, uh, olive oil and a little bit of tomato on. Uh, we've got some carrots here going as well, we've got uh, some broccoli in the microwave as well. We can make do, hey? <laughs> Rough and ready. Yeah, this is the uh, budget uh, US uh, trip, but we also have some Pepsi over there and some uh, American whiskey, so that's going to go down nicely and make everything just a little bit more palatable. <laughs> but then we headed up to St. Augustine. Uh, St. Augustine is a beach town, and we actually went to the Anastasia State Park for a long beach walk, just enjoying the weather, chatting, um, enjoying the scenery up the coast there. Um, and we actually walked around central uh, St. Augustine then after that. Um, small vacation town, we went and visited the fort there, uh, which you can actually walk around the outside of and get a real feel for what the town was like um, hundreds of years ago. And yeah, it was just a great town for shopping and there were lots of tourists around, very smart and, you know, horses, horse-drawn carriages and that in the center. Um, parking was just a nightmare there, so we like parked on the other side of the river and then walked over the bridge and walked around there and then walked back and drove our car out. Um, but yeah, really nice town and it was nice to just go through in a single afternoon and enjoy the, um, the touristy vibes really. So next we moved on to the town of Savannah, Georgia, which was really nice actually and had a whole lot of, um, and like a long uh, stretch down to the waterfront, which was also quite, uh, quite nice. Well, in that whole long stretch, there were a whole lot of small historical squares with statues in them and with um, little, little parks in each and a really nice central district with a fountain and a big uh, park in the middle of this, the town. I mean, very dog friendly actually, we met a whole lot of dogs um, on the walk uh, and that was really nice to, <laughs> nice to experience considering we haven't seen our own dogs for several weeks and yeah, just a really nice uh, small culturally rich town um, and really enjoyed the time there. And next we were on to Charleston um, and on the way there we stopped at the Paris Island military base which was really cool and we actually got to see some real life marines there and we went to the 
um, museum, like the military museum they've got there uh, for the army. And that was really cool and really worthwhile. And actually, uh, like kind of uh, closeted away at the end of the base, but really good public museum for free, actually, where you could learn about the Marines and you could learn about um, the army and just basically the US military's involvement in all the major conflicts of the last um, century. And it was a really good museum, really good um, pieces of uh, history and that that they had there, uniforms, artillery, all of that thing, all of that sort of things. And yeah, just a really good free museum. Um, and so it was stopped off at Paris Island military base. And then from then we went on to Charleston. But yeah, the details of our trip to Charleston I will leave for the next video in the series. Thanks for watching this and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!